Hey, what's going on YouTube? I device help here. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the new iOS 7 look on iOS 6. Now, for those of you that have jailbroken iOS 6 devices and don't want to update to iOS 7, obviously, so you don't lose your jailbreak, then this video will be for you. So, now the theme that I'm using for this video, obviously, is called iOS 7 theme. Uh, it's under the Mod My Eye repo here in Cydia. Of course, you can find it under the Mod My Eye. So, let's go ahead and begin with this video. Alright guys, so the first thing you notice about the theme itself, I'm going to be talking about the theme itself. You can see the lock screen here mimics iOS 7 uh, look and feel right away. You can tell by the uh, wallpaper and also uh, the icon here for the camera and the slider itself. So let's go ahead and slide this iOS 7 theme to unlock. Now the first thing right away that you can notice is every single icon is customized and themed out. Uh, you know, you have your settings application, of course it has all its theme, it's a complete theme here, iOS 7. Again, this is iOS 6 jailbroken, uh, and there's a custom, there it is, 6.1.2. It is a custom uh, theme for the iOS 6, people that don't want to update to iOS 7, of course. Now here you have all the icons and also the folders and every single Icon is customized, calculator, everything is just nice. I'll have all the information of where you can download the theme and everything I've discussed in this video uh, so you can get the same iOS 7 look as I have on my device. Now, the theme itself, like I said, it has a lot of cool things uh, customized and themed out uh, according to iOS 7. As you can see there, every single icon and every single thing. Now, the camera application might be the only one that is not themed out, but that could come in further updates to this theme. Uh, now, there's a few other enhancements that I want to talk about that make this theme look more iOS 7 realistic, but that is adding a few other tweaks and toggles from Cydia itself. So let's go ahead and jump and discuss some of those right now. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is obviously the keyboard. It is not a full complete theme if it's not doesn't have the keyboard. So you can see you can see the icons through the keyboard itself, which is translucent. It is the iOS 7 keyboard. Now the keyboard does come preloaded with the theme itself, but the only thing you need to download from Cydia in order to get the extra functionalities, of course, will be colored keyboard, which will give you an extension in the settings application. And once you download the color keyboard, you go here to select theme, and you just select the color keyboard theme for the iOS 7, respring your device, and you will have your iOS 7 keyboard for this theme. Another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was those notification center. Now, as you can see there in my notification center, I have NC settings also implemented, which gives me uh, the look and feel of iOS 7 here with the uh, weather uh, being uh, customized and uh, the actual wallpaper that makes it translucent uh, also um, available here with this tweak, which is called Blur NC Settings. And uh, again, I'll have all the information of everything in the video description down below so you guys can download all these tweaks uh, that go along with this theme that make it feel like iOS 7 so you don't have to update to iOS 7 right now. All right, so moving along here to the folders itself. As you can see, my folders open up like an iOS 7 style folder. Now, this is done by simply downloading the add-on folder enhancer which also gives you an extension here in settings if you go to appearance and you deactivate uh, use image file uh, you'll get a translucent folder and an effect like iOS 7 and there you go you can get your iOS 7 look folders now another cool thing about iOS 7 will be the multitasking uh, usually for iOS 6 of course you have your standard iOS multitasker which could be a, a little bit annoying and uh, outdated uh, of course, iOS 7 now update to the new multitasker. Uh, I'll be using Card Switcher. Card Switcher is the new multitasker that you can find in Cydia, of course. And it gives you the iOS 7 look and feel for the multitasker. You can also get rid of cards just like you would in iOS 7. And uh, it gives your device a nice look. And again, it makes it feel just like iOS 7. That would be Card Switcher. Now also, another cool thing that this theme does offer is the customization of Siri. Now it is not exactly Siri from iOS 7. Hello Siri. Hey. But it does give you the Siri look and feel of iOS 7 with the uh, black background. It does not give you the translucent background like it does in iOS 7, but it does give you a new look to Siri as well. Now also, I don't know if you guys have noticed the fonts. The fonts here on my uh, iOS device are uh, different. The fonts just are uh, completely different from what it is to iOS 6. That is a simple tweak that you can download from Cydia. Of course, it's called iOS 7 fonts. And then you can go ahead and uh, you'll get an application called Beta Font. And then you can go into Beta Font and select iOS 7. Your device will respring. And then you'll get the iOS 7 fonts here for your iOS 7 theme in iOS 6. 
of course giving you again that natural iOS 7 look and as you can see here on the top everything is just customized as well here on the uh, status bar and also some of the icons such as weather if you go into the icon itself you can see some customization as well here in the weather's application now not only do you get the theme itself and all those cool tweaks and customizations but when you plug your device you will also get your iOS 7 uh, battery there as you can see there the iOS 7 battery you can also get through this theme it comes preloaded with the with the theme itself and uh, it makes it feel a lot nicer to have that matte looking uh, battery there for your device. Alright guys, so that about brings a wrap to this video. I hope you guys enjoy this quick little customization video for iOS 6. Turning it kind of into iOS 7. I hope this helps for those of you that love to try iOS 7 but don't want to lose your jailbreak and update. Now there's a few uh, quick tips I want to give you guys before I let you go. You can also get live clock so you can get the live clock animation. And also, you can get iOS 7 control toggle icons, so if you have Notification Center, it makes it look more like iOS 7. And uh, again, everything would just be in the video description down below, guys. So just make sure you read the entire description you get the theme and including all the packages and things I discussed about in this video. So if this video helped you out, guys, please thumbs up. I really do appreciate it when you guys thumbs up my videos. And of course, don't forget to stay up to date with the latest information on your iOS device by going to iDeviceHelpUs.blogspot.com. It's been iDevice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.